Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about linen and how to style linen for spring. So linen's a great versatile fabric for this kind of time of year because it gives you a layer if it's kind of cooler, but then actually also is breathable if it warms up later on in the day. So I've got a few key linen pieces, three main pieces that I'm gonna show you how I style now. So let's get started. First up is this two piece trousers, linen trousers in a really natural shade alongside a linen shirt. They're both from Naked. And when you put them together like this, they're supposed to kind of match, but it sort of looks like a jumpsuit. I love this natural linen look with tan colors. So I've teamed it with a tan belt, a tan satchel, which is one of my favorites. You'll see this in a lot of my videos. This was from Etsy and some driving gloves from Dents. I've kind of got a bit of a thing about driving gloves. I just think they really finish off an outfit and actually look really stylish. In this occasion, I've teamed it with some white trainers because I'm a big flat shoe girl, but you could actually team this with smarter shoes or anything you want. Next, I've gone for a really classic black and white monochrome look. I've got my black linen skirt, which is from uh, Because of Alice. And on this occasion, I've teamed it with knee high boots because actually my legs are so white at the moment. They're blue. It's the beginning of the season. So excuse me. But later on in the year, you could absolutely team this without boots. Um, I've teamed it with a black and white striped top with a black bag and black sunglasses and my black hat. It's kind of really, really simple, but effective. This would look great as well with kind of a bright coloured scarf or bright shoes or even a bright coloured hat. Next up, I've kept my linen skirt, the black linen skirt, which has kind of got a tie at the side. And this time I've teamed it with a natural kind of beige looking t-shirt. It's a fitted t-shirt because I think something loose fitting would be too overwhelming for me because I'm quite petite. And I've teamed that with a scarf that I picked up in uh, Thailand, actually. And I've got my boots and the black bag again. So I'm just showing you here how just changing a top and adding a different kind of colour scarf can actually make quite a difference. It's really simple, but you could do this with lots of different colours. Next up, I've gone for something completely different. I've got my linen shirt again, the same one I was wearing earlier, but this time with some classic 501 jeans. You can't go wrong with 501 jeans. They suit almost all different body shapes. And I'm teaming this again with my Birkenstocks, which because I love flat shoes, my uh, tan belt, which, which ties in with the bag and then sunglasses. So this is a really simple kind of classic look, but I kind of like these because they're the kind of perfect staples to any kind of capsule wardrobe. In fact, all three of these are perfect staples to any capsule wardrobe. The band on my hat also links in with the rest of the accessories. Next up, I've got the top on here again, but I've actually chosen to put it this time with some jersey trousers. And the way I'm linking this outfit together is by using the straw kind of effect in the bag along with the hat. And what I'm showing you here as well is how two similar colours can be worn together, but not actually look like they're being forced together. Because sometimes if you're wearing similar colours, it can look like you're trying to match it. But because I've got two separate fabrics here, it actually really works. So the jersey against the woven linen of the shirt, it really works. So this would be great if it's a little bit cooler one day and kind of you need something a little bit warmer. That's the great thing about linen. You can kind of use it when it's warmer or also to kind of give you an extra layer once it cools down. I love this outfit. It's really comfortable to wear and looks really stylish. Next up, I've gone for something quite similar. This time, this is a skirt. It's in a simple, similar fabric as the trousers you've just seen. But this time I've put my biker jacket over the top. Now, instead of wearing a black biker jacket, I've worn one of my favourites. This is kind of, it's from All Saints. And it's kind of like a brown sort of grey colour. So it, it kind of really works with that neutral tones of the shirt, the linen, natural linen shirt and the skirt as well. And again, a similar thing happens here in that the skirt and the shirt work really well together because they're in different fabrics. And this time I've just put on my trainers with it. You could quite easily put heels on with this or flats like me, you know, like Birkenstocks or something like that, or sandals. Um, it could either go with something flat or with heels. You could dress it up or down. 
Next up, I've actually ditched the shirt this time and I've gone back to the linen trousers. But similarly, this is a jersey top, which is kind of, uh, it's a bit of a crop top. But actually, what works really well with this, even with my age, I can still get away with this because it's because the trousers are really high waisted. It's one way if you're one of these people that feels like, you know, crop tops aren't for you anymore. And this is one way you can actually get away with wearing them by wearing high waisted trousers. So this works really well, similarly to what I wore before. I'm linking the bag in with a hat again. That's kind of how I like to use my accessories. So next up, I've gone a little bit different. There's a lot more contrast with this. So you can see I've used the black belt to link in with the hat and the top and the bag. Again, using my accessories there to match. This is one of the key things that I do. I've got like one black belt, one brown belt, like a tan belt, one black bag, one tan bag. And whatever outfit is I'm wearing, I kind of link them up together. So this is um, a V-neck top from, I believe it was from Because of Alice. I'll put a link in the notes for this. And of course, the hat links in as well. Again, you could wear smart shoes with this one. So next up, I've gone back to the trousers again, but this time I'm wearing them with a uh, lace shirt, which again was from Naked, but I don't believe it's available anymore. This was last year. And this time I'm showing you how I'm using the belt again to link in with a laptop bag. So it's kind of that tan colour again. It kind of links in with it. So this is one of the best ways to use your accessories. So I love the way these colours kind of blend and the white goes really well with that kind of natural colour. So these two colours actually work for an awful lot of people. Some people prefer or actually uh, suit better a kind of cool white which is what this is and some people suit better a warmer white but white and natural colours work really well in a capsule wardrobe these would be great pieces for a capsule again I've got the linen trousers but this time I'm just showing you with a shirt that I've picked up from the seamstress of Bloomsbury now again this is actually a crop top but because these are high-waisted trousers it works and I can kind of get away with it. If they were lower waisted, it wouldn't work and it would be too much and I wouldn't feel comfortable. But the key about this is, particularly if you're wearing linen or you're wearing satin trousers or something that's quite a lightweight material, it's much better to have something that you don't have to tuck in loads because if you tuck loads in the top of these trousers, you can often see it. So this works really well. And this is another version of this, really simple again, just a black t-shirt top, similar to what I had before with a v-neck. And again, as you can see, I'm matching the belt and the bag together. So I'm linking the outfit together. I could, you, you know, easily kind of match this in again by wearing a black pair of shoes alongside this as well. So again, these are really simple colours to work for your capsule wardrobe. If black doesn't work for you, you could quite easily replace the top and the accessories in this outfit with navy or charcoal grey. Because French navy and charcoal grey work for most people. Whatever colouring you are in a capsule wardrobe. So I hope you found that video useful. Let me know how you style linen. You can use brighter colours against those neutrals or wear it kind of in layering. It's a great versatile fabric. So let me know how you get on styling your own wardrobe. Hopefully you found some inspiration to put some outfits together yourself. If you have any comments, comment below and subscribe for more tips and tricks on creating a capsule wardrobe. I'll see you next time.